Hello and welcome to this webinar on Unseen Poetry Comparison. We are looking at two poems, Branch Library by Edward Hirsch and Books by Erica Long. We're comparing these poems and by the end of the webinar we'll be able to understand the structure and themes, the imagery and language and the effects on the reader. Now the ideal scenario when you're reading a poem is to read it three times and if you're reading, you're using comparative poetry, you're reading each poem three times. The first time you read a poem you just try and work out what you don't understand, which aspects are complicated or difficult and does it matter? Can you guess it and work out the meaning? The next time you read the poems or poem, understand what you do understand understand and so understand what you really think about the poems and then the last time is really to do that close analysis um, when you use smile now what does smile stand for it stands for structure meaning imagery language and effect and environment so when you're analyzing and comparing poem things think about the title the first line the last line how things develop each of the stanzas and the lines how they're broken up and who the viewpoint is also think about meaning what are the ideas what are the key issues that are being explored and which lines particularly show that which neon lines show very vividly powerful words and phrases that show them the message or the purpose imagery are the techniques that are being used so is metaphor used onomatopoeia um personification exaggeration simile is sensory description used as sound effect and why are they used are they used to explain the meaning, the message, the theme, the purpose? And then language, what kind of vocabulary is used? Is it simple, is it complex? Are there sound effects? And then the effect, why has it been written? What's the overall purpose and the intention? And what could it show about the background or the context? We're looking at these two poems. They are called Branch Library, and the other one is Books. So they're both very much about books and learning. So Branch Library is by Edward Hirsch, and books is by Erica Young. And here are the poems together. So pause this webinar and have a look at the poems, look at each of them and see what you think. Okay, I hope you've been able to pause the webinar and read the poems and have a look at what you think. What we want, what I want to do is to really compare the poems. Now, the best way I would suggest of comparison is using the hanger method. So you look at what's similar, but also what is different. So the hanger shows that you connect both poems use this they both focus on the reading they both use this kind of imagery or they both have this kind of they both have an intended effect so both of them do this and then you write about what the differences are so the hanger comparison method shows what's similar and what's different in the poems and you can use smile for this you can talk about what's similar in the structure of meaning and then different what's similar in imagery and language and what's different and what's similar in the effect and the environment and what's different. So you're really writing three main paragraphs because you're comparing and contrasting in each of those paragraphs. So let's think about what is similar and different in terms of the smile, the structure, meaning, imagery, language and effect and environment of these poems. Well, both of these poems have a really clear title. They're both about books and libraries and education. They both start off um, in quite a positive kind of strong uplifting way I wish says the branch library and books which stitch up the center with core so this idea that books that are precious and handmade and someone who's important and and interesting at the start but the endings are quite different because the ending is radiating heat singing with joy the boy in the library has been inspired by his learning whereas at the end of books books which smell of earth whose pages turn is incomplete and it's ambiguous. And we don't know whether the books are turning in the earth because they're dying and decaying, which seems to be the implication, or whether books that smell of earth, they embody human experience and they turn, which means that they change people. So it's ambiguous. So you can see the similarities, both of them start strong, strongly and positively, but one ends, um, in a positive exuberant way and the other is much more ambiguous and perhaps more pessimistic. In terms of the meaning, both of them are very much about learning and books and the value of books. And so we can see this as the boy is flying and 
Um, he's um, excited about learning. He's scratching and scrawling all of his notes. And in books, we can see that these books are used. They've got burned um, corners and uncut pages and they've been stitched. So these books that have become a really important integral part of people's lives. Whereas, however, if we think about the meaning, this one is very much about the joy of learning and the passion of learning. Whereas here you can see books that are blooming with fungus and how learning has been neglected. When we think about imagery, you can see that both of them use a wide range of, of, um, of, of, of different techniques, but the main one for Branch Library is the extended metaphor, this beaked, long beaked boy perching like a, like a bird and nesting and scratching and collecting is there. Whereas this one, you've got lots of different types. You've got the metaphor, you've got the personification, the weeping grapefruits, fanatical footnotes um, and the book lice. Are they book lice or is it a metaphor? So lots of different rather than a consistent one. The language also is similar in terms of the language is fairly straightforward in both of them. But the language here, this one is very apparent Whereas this one is much more subtle. It's comical and it makes you work. When you look at the inn with whose stars have spluttered out, is it the inn that the Christ child has been has been um, has been born and the star spluttered out? Is it about people neg neglecting or rejecting their faith? So the language is much more ambiguous and layered in books. And then finally, the effect. Both of them are forcing us to consider how important books are. However, Branch Library is really about importance of, of, of books in youth, whereas this one is almost looking at the neglect of books in adult life. So we can see the comparison and the contrast in their structure, their meaning, the imagery and language and the effect of these two poems. What's next? Well, I would suggest that you go back using my notes to write out your comparative analysis of these two poems. Why don't you compare and contrast branch library and books in your own assessment? Thank you for joining me and goodbye.